when people are, if you live in your passion, then you teach your child it's wonderful to be in your passion. If you feel that, oh, I can't be in my passion because I won't have enough money, or I really have an obligation to this family, or then automatically the child is learning it's actually too difficult to fulfill your dreams, it's too difficult to live in your, in your passions in your life. So often we use the excuse of having a family to not follow our dreams or live in our passions, but it's actually quite damaging to the soul of that child because they learn that they can't do that in their own life. So how many of you feel like right at the moment the work, job you're working in is not the job you want? How many of you feel that? So about a third maybe of the audience, right? Okay. Now if you've got children living with you with that feeling, you are actually teaching them to do jobs they don't like. Well, you have to deny yourself for money. So you're teaching them how to prostitute themselves for money, really. Does that make sense? So stop doing that. Live in your desire. Ask yourself what your desires are. If you don't know what your desires are, pray to God about your desires. Allow yourself to work through them and discover them and explore them. Work out what they are, and then when you know what they are, you'll be able to live in them. But if you go to live in your desires but you feel really guilty, like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm taking a pay cut and then my family won't have as much, and what, what's the emotion they're going to feel? Yeah, well, they'll, they'll feel like, oh, something's not quite right here. They'll, they'll, and they'll probably trigger the guilt in you. They'll say, oh, it's not fair, we didn't get any shoes. And, and that's because you actually feel guilty about your decisions to live in your passions. So it has to be a pure desire. Yeah. So, like, if you uh, do something that requires a pay cut, for example, to do what you enjoy, or you decide to work only three days a week and so you can spend two days a week doing what you enjoy more, and your children are affected by that. If you feel guilty about that, as Mary said, your children will reflect back to you your own guilt. So they'll, they'll make you feel more guilty uh, until you deal with that guilt about actually following your own desire. Does that make sense? So allow yourself to feel that guilt. Allow yourself to feel why you feel guilty about them not getting as much, but still follow your passion. Very important to follow your passion because otherwise your children don't know how to follow theirs. Yeah. That's how they learn from you. So so many so many of us also do this with sports and things like that. You see, you know, you see this a lot in the uh, states and also here in Australia because we're sort of a fairly sporting mad sort of country. You see, the parents who haven't been successful in sports themselves often getting their children to be more and more successful and pushing and pushing and pushing success. You see that happening quite a lot. Do you ever feel yourself doing that as a parent? Wanting the child to succeed in a certain area of their life. Wanting them to see them as succeed in academics or wanting them to succeed in sports. Well, that is your unhealed emotion. Because in the end, what we need to be doing is encouraging them to feel what they want to do and encouraging them to do that. I received the projection that you should take every opportunity because you, you know you have this opportunity, and so I ended up going into things that I didn't even really want to do because I should take up the opportunity. I have all these opportunities, so it's it's sort of subtle sometimes as well. Yeah.